Right, so today I'm working on my wife's car. Now the issue with her car is that the fan isn't working. Only on four. All right, three, two, one, not working. Okay. So, I need to look at this and I already have an idea of what it is. So I'm gonna pull it apart and I'll show you. Okay, so underneath the uh, dashboard on the passenger side, is this unit just here. Now that, will be the uh, resistive element which the fan runs through so it goes through basically a big resistor so I've got to take this out so I'll come back once I've got that taken out Alright, uh, first thing is, sorry about noise but it's absolutely freezing here today so I've got the heaters on <laughs> so it's a bit noisier than all now this is the resistive element which I showed inside the car and you can see it's got a big hole blown in it um, so this is really not looking that good now what my experience with these things has been that there's usually like a little fusible link on there and when that blows you can just um, repair that link and then carry on but this is actually pretty stuffed um, I don't like the chances of having much luck with this So we might have to get a replacement, but I'll give it a go anyway. Um, I mean, it's all rusty and everything, you know, it's like, meh, it's I'm not sure much life it's got left in it. Anyway, um, let's just tip these shavings off. Alright, well, let's have a little look and see what I'll clean up a bit and see what's going on. apart from the rust. It'd be nice to be able to see where the traces are. And I'm getting some progress so I can start seeing them there. So my guess is that the fusible links were there and it's um and it's blown out and it just hasn't liked it very much at all. Um, you can see a, bit, a little bit better in there now. You can see the traces. So there's one that runs around here. And one that runs around there. One that runs around there. And none of them work. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what the pin out on this. Let's see if I can figure it out. Um, with what little was left of the ball. I'd like to try and repair it, but um, it's not looking very hopeful. Used. Yeah. I don't think this works at all. No, I'm getting something on that one, I'm getting high resistance on that one. Um, and on that one. That was lower. It's just too big. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know which one's which. I don't know which connection's which. Oh, that's showing zero. That's a... Oh. Show about an ohm. About one ohm on those two. Um, there's nothing I'm seeing on the back as you can see. Um, in fact, it's rusting, it's kind of surprising. I would have thought it would be aluminium they would have used, it must have used steel. It's very surprising. So, how is this set up? That is the question. I think they're all linked together on this side. It looks like it might be. Scrap a bit of silicon away. Ah, 
they are. There's a link here. There's a link there, there's a link there. And they both will go down to that one there. So I think that turn all there's a common. And the other three are the actual devices. And in fact, you've got also different spacing here. So there's a larger gap between these two. So I think that is most likely the common. Um, based on this layer here on the board, it looks like that's the way it works. Um, yeah, but the fan isn't working at any speed. So maybe this. I don't know. Maybe it's working one speed, you just can't hear it. Uh, definitely not working on two of those speeds because look at the state of that, you know, they're just completely gone. Now I could try bridging that with a bit of wire and see what happens. Um, meaning you can see the slot it's got to go through, it's, it's, that, it's that wide. So if I wanted to put a resistor in there, it's not really possible. Because it would need to be a big enough resistor to handle the current and, well, not very likely. Um, this is actually broken here and here. So the other thing is if I bridge that, that might actually increase the chances of it failing again. Um, what is this trick? Well, I think it's copper somehow. So normally when I've done this sort of stuff, it's just been a fusible link. And if I place that, this resold will cross it and it's been fixed. So um, I think that's what used to be here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, we didn't have one. Maybe that's why it's gone like this. It looks like it's got wet or something. I don't know if I'll be able to solve this even. I don't know. I'm not sure it's copper. I really can't tell. Let's use um, toys in this if this will do it. Take any solder for a start. Uh, I think I might need this somehow. I have some little wire jumpers here, you know, component leads. Always very handy for this kind of thing. You know, like this. So I'll try soldering that across there. Uh, solder. Oh. Sucking the heat out, it's making your arm stick to it. <laughs> That's good on there. It's taken. It's taken solid. confident about this. I think this one is going to be alright, but maybe not the other one. It's just sucking the heat out of my iron. It's the purpose of the board though, isn't it? Right. Let's try and get this thing on before it cools down. Where's my choices gone? Right.
struggling to do it. Well, I don't like my chance of getting the smaller ones done. I think they're just... Uh, I don't think they're going to be strong enough to actually take the weight of the uh, world on them. That one there basically disintegrated when I was trying to solder it. Coming back too far. Get a bit further. Give it a go. But, uh, yeah, it's not great. Let's find it a while on enough. If this, if this gets too hot, the, um, the solder could potentially melt, and that would be bad. So, I don't know. Um, I just not convinced I've got this thing clean enough yet to actually get the dirt here on this second one. Not too bad. Solar, I mean, it's some um, right bit more white. That's why I keep all these component leads around because they're always handy for this sort of thing. Oh. 
dry and check for conductivity and see how we go. If this doesn't work I'll have to go and get another one from a scrapyard or something. Hope it's not done the same thing. See if it's actually going to work. So one name on those ones, as I had before. Well, this isn't zeroed, so um, it's not too far to. So it's 1.2 ohms on that one. 0.6 ohms on that one. 2.2 ohms on that one. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it might blow up. <laughs> it might be fine. Um, but now I've actually shortened that track, means technically there's now going to be potentially more current going through the track that's left. So I may not like that, it might end up burning out again. Um, so yeah, it's not the best. But um, otherwise I'll have to get another one. Right, so I've refitted the resistive element, let's see what happens. That works. That works. That works. Cool. The only question is really is it whether it's going to burn out or not because of the different resistance. Because of having that uh, track bridged. So, well, let's see how it goes. If you subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and give us a thumbs up and tell your friends if you know someone's got a listen, listen, pulsar. It's also new now as a Cordina. So, uh, anyway, catch you later.